So I thought I should do a sort of an introductory video of who I am, uh, why I chose to live in my car, what this is all about. Um, so first off, uh, I decided to live in my car because, um, well, a lot of different reasons. Um, I, let's back up here. Um, I lived in San Francisco in a small apartment paying way too much in rent for, ooh, the last decade maybe it was quite a long time I think it was about eight or nine years so give or take um almost uh, I guess almost a decade just shy um and it was awesome I really loved San Francisco I had such a great time there um but honestly all I did was work every day day in and day out to make my rent um pay my bills uh buy food all all that stuff and I still had a really really small apartment um which is how I got into min minimalism minimalism and extreme frugality was just a way to survive for me in San Francisco definitely um so well I, I really got um I mean, the city's fabulous, um, but I got a little bored, I guess you could say, and I really just wanted to see the world. So I had this opportunity um, about two years ago, a year and a half ago, um, to uh, go on a trip to London. And uh, it was sort of a last minute thing, um, and I ended up having to leave my job. But I was like, I can't keep putting this off. Because um, I had been saving, I'd been doing extreme frugality and being a minimalist already for like four, the last four years. And I'd saved a bunch of money. So I was like, you know what, if I don't do this, I'm never going to do it. So I quit my job, bought a ticket to London, um, ended up staying there for about three months. Um, then I went over into Europe and Thailand, and then I went back. Now, when I went back to San Francisco, I knew I didn't want to live there anymore. I just knew at this point I'd been away. I didn't, there wasn't this pull for me to be there anymore. So. So, um, I sold everything I had, um, that, you know, wouldn't fit in. I got it down to two suitcases, sold everything I had, and I moved to Germany. I lived in Germany for all of 2016, basically, uh, learned the language. Um, yeah, ich spreche Deutsch. <laughs> and manchmal, um, ich spreche ein bisschen Deutsch in these, um, videos. Uh, sometimes I will speak German in the videos or I'll say German things and it totally annoys my American friends. But anyway, um, so while in Germany, uh, I went on a van tour. My boyfriend is part owner of one of those VW um, minibus vans. And we went all over um, France, Spain. Uh, where else did we go with the van? Places in Germany. Um, we did a big road trip. And that was really cool. And um, we did that for several weeks, almost a month, I think, of our time we did uh, living in this van. And we didn't spend that much money because basically all you had to pay for was the gas and you just had to find a place to park it. Um, and I didn't need that many things. And it was just like a whole new um, idea of minimalist travel that I hadn't explored before. So I got this taste of van life that I just wanted so badly. So that was my experience um, in Europe. Now, I was forced to come back to the United States because visa issues and whatnot. I have to be here for three months at least. Um, then I will go back. So, of course, I wanted to use my time for something fun. And luckily enough, I, I did have a car. Even though I didn't need it at all when I was living in San Francisco, I had saved up money and bought this car because it was sort of like my dream car. Um, and it was the most amazing thing I'd ever been able to find off Craigslist. My family's been super good about getting cars off Craigslist. We've never bought a new car in our lives. Um, but this car happens to be the newest, even though it's also one of the oldest, because I got a car with only 42,000 miles on it, something like that. Actually, no, it was 39. I think I've put 42,000 miles on it. I bought it at 39,000 miles. It's a 1990. So, um... Yeah, it's old school and I love it so much. I hate those new cars with all the computers and when there's like a screen in your face. I mean, I just have like little lights, but like, anyway, so I'm, I'm so old school. So this is a great old school car for me. So, uh, the cool thing is, is I bought a wagon and the wagon has enough room for little old me to sleep in the back and all my supplies. So yeah, that was my solution for uh, the months that I couldn't be in Europe was to drive around and see my own country. Another thing I really wanted to do because 
Um, having lived in Northern California my whole life, yeah, I know California, but I mean, I didn't even know Northern Northern California, the part they'd like to turn into Jefferson. Um, I'd never been up there. I mean, I, I really stayed in my little San Francisco Bay Area bubble, um, just hadn't gotten out much. I mean, done some traveling as a kid and some road trips to LA and stuff, but I was like, I don't even know my own country. I've been to Thailand and then I've never been to Washington state, which is only two states north. So that was crazy to me. Um, I'm definitely don't have enough time to see the whole country. Well, I guess I did if I drove a lot, but I, I really, I'm a kind of a slow traveler and I like to take my time. So, um, I'm mostly staying in the Pacific Northwest, uh, cause the weather's good and I'm a little adverse to, uh, super heat. So, um, I won't be going anywhere South. I imagine though that this is going to be something I will have to do off and on, uh, for, the next couple years. I really don't know what's going to happen with my relationship in Germany and how I'm going to live there full time. That is something I'm still working on. So in the meantime, when I have to come to the U.S., uh, I do stay at my mom's house, but you know, we drive each other crazy. So the good thing is I have this car and it allows me to travel, um, with basically just paying for gas and food and being good about finding places to park. So this is why I'm doing van life in a wagon. I don't know, wagon life, car life, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it's a way that I'm exploring and, um, being able to be on my own, uh, but feel safe because I don't like pitching tents every night. So it's just an easy solution to live out of the car. So welcome. Um, I'm posting lots of videos on specific things about the car, specific details, um, on how I, have made sunshades uh, to protect my windows, um, how I sleep, what I use, um, uh, clothes I have brought with me, um, equipment I brought with me, safety gear, uh, food I'm eating, uh, oh, the famous piss jug, my favorite thing, um, you know, it's because you need to, everybody, it's, it's a life on the road, so, um, yeah, uh, my showering, hygiene, everything, um, I consider myself a minimalist, um, I've been, you know, being basically not, um, non-consuming, I guess you can say, where obviously I want to buy food and sometimes there's things I absolutely need, but my first thing is to try to get something, um, that somebody already has, um, unfortunately, but also lucky for me in a way. Um, my, my father passed away a couple years ago and he was, he just had everything. I mean, I, I went through his, his workshop, um, his basement, everything. And there was just so many supplies. That's where I got my sleeping bag from. I got a bunch of, um, equipment for the car, old tools, everything. So my first thing of course, is to go to family and friends for supplies, things that they're not using. I mean, these things were just sitting in my mom's house and, um, it's, yeah, it's something that now I can make use of. So unfortunately my father died way too young, but he left me some cool stuff. So I'm making use of it now. Um, and then, so first I go to that and if I can't find it, if it's not something my parents already have, uh, thrift stores, obviously I want to hit up where something's been used before, um, and, and get a, get a new to me item, but a used item consignment stores as well. Um, online, like eBay, stuff like that. I've, I've actually sold more of my stuff on eBay than I've bought, but I do buy things off of there. Um, and then, you know, then from there, there have been some items I have had to buy brand new, like, um, the suction cups I use for, um, hanging up curtains and stuff for the window. I just wasn't able to find enough of those. Surprisingly, I only find, found three of them in my dad's old things. So, uh, I found a plastic supply store and bought those, you know, bulk and exactly the number I needed and not getting any extras, anything like that. So that was important to me. So that's how I consume, um, or try not to consume, I guess you could say and that's my minimalist non-consumerist attitude another thing I really advocate for is I, I you know I feel we've gone so far with waste and um, plastic I still use plastic um, not to cook with I try not to eat out of it I have it for some water storage but um, normally I have glass water bottles but in the car not the big gallon ones are plastic um, 
but I try to stay plastic free by not bringing any new plastic into my life um, unless absolutely necessary. But it does happen that there's a lot of food packaged that way, especially when you're on the road. That happens in my home life, you know, almost never. Um, but uh, I'm trying to reuse everything because plastic is funny enough, you know, plastic is a resource that um, we, you know, manufactured and it's meant to last a lifetime. Um, but we use it as completely disposable. Um, and so everything I have, I'm trying to reuse and keep out of the landfills in that way. Um, and I try to avoid putting any more out. So that's sort of the zero waste aspect, um, of, of life. And, you know, I, I really advocate against using those kind of things, but I also, I also really hate things like, um, recycled, um, when they make recycled paper plates or uh, potato ware, knife and fork and stuff, because you still had to make it. So I carry stainless steel, metal knife, fork and spoon. They were something my dad had, um, you know, things that have been made once and I will reuse, I can reuse them my entire life. They will last forever. Um, so I really try to avoid all sorts of disposables. One thing I do have though, I have a giant roll of paper towels that my dad had in his shop. He's not going to use them anymore and um they're just something that they were already made already bought years ago and i just need to use them up oh i don't know if you guys can hear that but there is a hornet flying around in here that's fun he came to visit anyway um so I'm using those kind of things up. So yeah, certainly at times um, to wipe windows in my car, I've got these paper towels. But my whole thing is use up what my parents already bought and not buy any more. You know, instead of that, at the end of the roll of these paper towels, I have one of those... Um, like a suede chamois uh, cloth that just gets reused and reused. I have cotton rags, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I do have that, uh, but I did want to get use out of those things rather than just have them sit around. There comes that damn bee. Anyway, so um, that is who I am, what I try to do with uh, zero waste um, stuff and minimalism. Um, and that's my lifestyle. So welcome to my channel. Um, again, like I said, I have a lot of other videos. They're not as long as this one. This one's long because I'm just talking, but, um, I have most of my videos. I try to keep to about five minutes, um, where I talk about one subject, uh, about the car or car life. So come along with me. Um, I might also do some tour videos of like places I've been. I went to this really cool cave, um, but I don't always remember to have my camera with me or it's my phone. Of course, I don't always remember to use it. I'm one of those people that when I'm there in the moment, I'm really involved in what I'm doing and I, I often forget to take film, um, to take a video of it, take a picture even. But I'm getting better at that because I know, you know, we're all documenting our lives. I'm, I started this because I want to share this information with the world. But also I know I have friends out there, people that know me in real life that follow me um, and want to see what I'm doing. So, hey guys, uh, this is me. This is fully me, crazy me, not the me you might know because I know I haven't talked about this stuff so much publicly. Um... Uh, but I think all of you kind of like suspected that I was this sort of closet, like, I don't know, hippie, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, so, <laughs> uh, join me and, um, yeah, let's have fun. Let's learn together. And I'm just trying to, uh, show you all the experiments I'm doing.